Well, the video and conversations about warfare can be very confusing for children. And they're trying to piece together what they're seeing all around them, but images and misinformation can make it very frightening. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser has details on ways to talk to your children about the invasion of Ukraine. A child psychologist tells me his young patients are asking him if the country is on the brink of World War III. He wants to advise parents to be careful what's shown at home and to not unintentionally cast your own anxieties on your children. Wesley Clark sits on a bench in Liberty Park enjoying the warm weather, watching his stepson and his friend play without a care in the world. These are just precious moments and it's more important to focus on the positive rather than the negative. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Although Clark is staying up to date with what's unfolding in Ukraine, he's intentionally keeping it out of his home and away from his eight-year-old. They should be more concerned with uh, bee stings at best than worrying about, you know, nuclear war, World War III. Children have already dealt with so many changes over the past two years. Dr. Douglas Goldsmith says more discussion of uncertainty and death just adds to the stress. There's really some exhaustion, and especially from the kids, there's now a pessimism of are things really ever going to get better? He warns to be aware that just because you're not bringing it up at home doesn't mean they won't pick up things on the playground. First of all, find out what the children are hearing. Because if they say yes, and we're all going to die, that's a starting point for the parent to say, we're not going to die. It's very, very far away. He says reassuring your kids is key. Promise them that if there is something to worry about, you'll tell them that if this was going to be World War III, we will not keep that secret and we will tell you right away. That's very comforting for kids to hear. Clark agrees, but says right now his stepson is far too young for such heavy content. You just don't want to drag that home all the time. And it's definitely not for kids to worry about. Let them be kids. Let them have fun. Dr. Goldsmith says another way to talk it out is to bring up a map of the world and show your kids just how far away Ukraine is from Utah. Reiterate, they are safe. He also recommends to steer clear of any negative images that could upset them. Reporting in the studio, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.